Well, all right, guys, it's been a while. You guys know I usually like to stay on top of all the new brands that are coming into the disc space, and I just haven't been getting as many prototypes as I used to. But thanks to Essential Discs, we do have some prototypes that we're dealing with today. Essential Discs is a disc golf company that is owned and operated um, with female and woman owners. So that's pretty cool. I think they may be the only women owned and operated disc golf brand. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. But we've got the, I believe this is the Balance. It's like a stable buzz type mid-range. We've got the Reflection. This is their newest fairway driver. Minus two turn, one fade, seven speed. Then we've got, I believe this was their first driver. This is called the Oxygen, which does feel very similar to this new guy. But man, these discs look really nice. And then we've got the Honey Approach Disc, which was actually originally PDGA approved I guess back in 2014, so they've been in the game for a while, but now they're just coming out with some more modern molds, it appears. So I'm really excited to give these a throw. We'll throw the oxygen and the reflection here on hole one. And I guess the discs are very specifically designed to have small rims and to be really good for female players, players with smaller hands, and junior players. That's the minus two fairway driver. That definitely had a good bit of turn on it. So based on where I mostly spend my time playing disc golf, it's a lot of heavily wooded courses. I really don't find myself throwing a ton of distance drivers. Um, each course here in Charlotte just will have a handful of holes per course where you even need to throw a distance driver. And even on a lot of the par fours we have in town, you wind up throwing a lot of mid-range discs, a lot of fairway drivers, and a lot of putters. Um, so with that being said, I do think that these will suit the Eastway holes out here today. So let's see if we can pick up a few birdies uh, during this nine hole round. Just a quick shout out, um, make sure you subscribe to the channel because my next video is going to be with Ricky Wysocki's not PDGA approved yet, secret distance driver, the Tyro. Let's see how it flies. Saki Bomb Tyro, make sure you subscribe, comment below so I know you guys are excited to see that review as well. All right, we're going to throw from the Tyro here, we're going to go oxygen and then Reflection. The oxygen was surprisingly stable. It's a nice flyer. Definitely a good like workhorse 10 speed. Not nearly as flippy as I thought it was going to be. And the reflection. A little more flip up to straight, but still reliable fade at the end there. Pretty solid balance here. I believe this is a 5-5-0-1.5. Five, five, flies very similar to a stable buzz, and that's going to be a good tee shot. All right, the balance put us probably a little shorter than you'd like to be, but it's going to be a good opportunity for us to test it on the forehand line. I think it should have enough stability when thrown flat, Maybe get a slight turn, but it should come back right at the end. Wow. Think like a straight Buzz OS. If you like the Buzz OS, but want just a touch straighter one, that's the disc for you. All right, we want balance, balance, and we are in fact in the circle for an, a birdie putt. It's our second birdie look of the day. Oh, Dylan. Should have just putted with this mid-range. Right. Honey demo and the balance. A run at the basket here. This is our first look at the approach disc. It's like a less tall and chunky harp. That's kind of how I feel like this feels in the hand. But as you can see, it's pretty beefy. That was actually pretty good. <laughs> it's literally just a shallow harp. Now we've got the fake Buzz OS. 
Give us a little swing. So it goes far like a buzz, but has that swing at the end of a Buzz OS. I think that's a mid-range that a lot of people would actually really enjoy. Hole five, we've got a 292 foot par three. We're gonna go with the oxygen and the reflection. Hopefully we don't lose one of these here. We've just gotta trust the nice flat shot here. Be stable, get up there, climb. Oh, at the last tree. I like that line though. Let's see if we can replicate it with the reflection. I like that way more. Go. Should be parked for birdie. Let's go. So far, this reflection is reminding me of the old Innova made FDs. All right, hole six is one of my favorites. 267, par three. We're going to throw the balance and the reflection. Balance needs to be thrown nice and flat through this gap here. Flies so much like just a more pushy Buzz OS. Really nice. We've got the reflection here. Two really nice shots. Oh, there it is. Birdie. Uh, hole seven, 286 foot par three. It's time to see how these guys fly on the forehand line. We'll go with the oxygen and then the reflection. Go in. That had a chance of acing for sure. This one's a touch more understable, a little more hyzer. Also go in. Oh, that's so, that was really close. That almost went in. Hole eight, got another par three here going with the flex forehand line with the honey. Second time throwing the honey today. Go in. Ooh, a little short. Really is just like a shallow harp. All right, it's going to be our last hole of the day. It's a 265 foot par three. I want just a little stand up hyzer up the right side, but definitely moving right to left the whole way. Um, we got one last throw with the oxygen, and then we'll throw the reflection. I've really enjoyed throwing these today. They've been good flyers. Oh. As long as it pushes, that's pretty good. Oh, I hit the last tree. Reflection. That's nice. It's flipping. Get through. All right. Absolutely parked our last hole of the day. Let's go. Maybe. All right. Not exactly parked, but definitely inside the circle. One last putt for today. Oh. Anyway, guys, essential discs. I really enjoyed throwing this one the most. This is their newest mold, the Reflection. It's a seven speed fairway driver, minus two turn with a one fade. It's a really good flyer for me. I really like this galactic quartz plastic. I think it looks absolutely beautiful. It's like a nice finished metal flake disc. I had that plastic in this guy and in this guy. I think you guys should definitely go check this mold out. This was the reflection. If you want a slightly more stable buzz or a slightly glidier buzz OS, this thing is absolute money. But anyway, see you guys in the next video. Take care.